Hello and welcome back to another Python tutorial. My name is Tom with LearnPythonTutorial.com and in today's tutorial we're going to talk about the continue statement. The continue statement, like the uh, past statement, is used within um, loops, while loops and for loops. And what it does is when it hits the continue statement it kicks us back to the top of the while loop or for loop and runs the loop again. Now the continue statement um, I'm not too fond of. I believe it is not the proper way to write code in Python and I don't know if other Python programmers agree with me I just think it's ugly <clears throat> and unreadable uh, in most programs. There's always a way around it to make your code more readable and a little bit prettier. So, but it's an option in Python, so we will cover it and we'll discuss it and I'll show you how it works and it's up to you if you want to use it. I suggest you don't, but that's completely up to you. So, we're going to write these uh, examples in our text editor. So, I opened up Sublime Text. I'm going to go ahead and save this to my programs file. And um, the reason I'm writing it in here is because we're going to use couple for loops and while loops and uh, it's just a little bit easier to write it. So I'm just going to say uh, continue.py save it in here. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first one we're going to do is create a for loop that uh, will print out if the number is even or odd uh, in a range. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll do for number in range. Now we didn't cover range yet but we'll get to it shortly so just bear with me. Um, and what range does is it returns uh, all the numbers between 2 and 30. Okay, um, So it returns it to us so we can actually iterate through it. Um, so for number in range we're going to do something so if number and then modulo 2 is equal equal to zero this return this if statement here will return even numbers if it it will be true if it's an even number alright so let's go ahead and do something with that let's go ahead and print uh, found an even number alright and then we'll print number so we're going to print found an even number and then we'll print that number as even. Now here's where the continue statement comes in. We're going to do continue all right, and then we're going to uh, go back one spot and we'll print found an odd number all right, and we'll print number. Same, same thing up here, it's just a little different. Print even, print odd. All right. So now we created this um, what's going on? So we got our for, for loop. We're going to go through the range of numbers from 2 to 30. If the number is even, we're going to print found even number. And then we're going to uh, go to the next line, which is continue. Now, what happens when we hit continue is it's going to go back up and run the next uh, for loop. All right. If we didn't have the continue statement here, it would print... Uh, found an even number and then print found an odd number even though it was even. So let's go ahead and run this program. So I'll open up my terminal and python 3 continue.py it return and as you can see it prints everything from 2 to 29 All right. Um, and it says found even number, found odd number, found even number, found odd number, found even number, found odd number, and so on. All right. So let's go ahead and go back to our program we just wrote and just comment out continue. All right. So this basically just removes it from the uh, for loop here and it won't run continue. Let's see what happens now. Now we run the pro program. And let's go up to where we start. It says I found an even number. I found an odd number two. Well, odd uh, two is not an odd number, so it's printing that. Then found an odd number three, but it doesn't print three as an even number. Then found an even number four and an odd number four. So, what if you can try to visualize what is going on here? Is it goes through the for loop 
if number is um, an even number with our if statement here it will print that number and then it will also print this statement here now if our number is odd it won't run this if statement here and it will just run this one so what is happening is it's running the even and the even even numbers it runs both these print statements here for odd numbers it only runs this one so if we put continue back in there now it will only run uh, even here and odd here now like I said before that I not fond of the continue statement so what's a way to fix this to make it look prettier and more proper well what we do is we take out the continue statement and we just put else alright and to, or space that in um, now we run the program same same way we did before and as you can see now it does even odd even odd even odd this is a safer way to do it this is uh, an easier way to read it and manage your code so I suggest that instead of using continue you use an else if else statement and do it properly all right so that's one example let's take this one out and let's take a look at another example um, this one we're gonna run a while loop and what we're gonna do is count the uh, return even numbers again but we're gonna count down from um, five so let's just create an uh, object of five and have a variable of var to represent it while var um, I'm just going to write this all out real quick and then I'll explain it to you. Zero. Continue. And then print four. All right, so what is going on here? All right, so we got our object here, five uh, vars representing five. We got while loop var, so <clears throat> this will uh, remain true until we hit zero. So we're counting down here. And my, every time the while loop runs, we're gonna take a number off the object up here. And when we hit zero, it's gonna return false because zero is false in Python. So this while loop will stop. Um, if var is a modulo of 2, so we saw this in the previous one, um, but this one says not equal to 0, that would return an odd number, it says continue. So if this if statement is true, when it returns an odd number, it will continue back up to the while and continue on. Um, if it, this if statement is, or if we get returned an even number and this if statement is false it's going to go down to the print statement and print us an even number so let's go ahead and take a look at that back into our terminal and clear all this crap and we'll run the program 420 all right all our even numbers um, within our program here so that ran properly now like I said before um, the continue statement here is pretty much useless. Um, it does it, it it what it does is it just kicks us back up here. But we can easily fix this issue by writing writing it properly. Instead of writing if it's not equal to uh, uh, even number or yeah not equal to an even number, um, why not just say if var is an even number, print it. All right. So let's just uh, make it equal to a even number. Take out the continue statement and print the variable. Alright, so let's go ahead and run that one. Boom, 420. We got the same numbers. Now looking at our code, it's so much easier to read. Understandable. Um, so we got our var, our variable 5, we run the for loop and until this hits zero, the variable counts down to zero, the while loop is going to continue to run. This line is counting down the variable each run, each 
loop, it counts down one. If the variable is a modulo of two, and it's equal equal to zero, which is an even number, so we get the even number, we print var. All right. If it's an odd number, it doesn't do anything and it runs the while loop again. This is so much e easier to understand um, versus the continuous statement. All right, let's take a look at uh, one more. So we'll take that one out. And this one we're gonna iterate through um, a list of words. So let's just say words is equal to, and what we wanna do is, um, not return words that start with A. Alright. Um, so let me just type in some words here. Alright, so we got a list of words here. And what we're going to do is create a for loop that will iterate through our list of words here. So we'll go ahead and do a for word in words um, we want to do something so it's going to be if word period starts with so the starts with method that we have learned about a do something so we're going to say continue and this is another way to write if statements we can actually put them all in the same line so the, the reason I'm doing this is to just show you this is possible after the colon we can put what we want the if statement to do over here and put continue this is not also uh, something you constantly want to do because it makes it harder to read and make sure your syntax is proper and everything else but hey we try to show you everything so if word starts with a continue so if the word starts with a it's just gonna skip back up to here and run the loop again all right and then we're just gonna do a uh, print uh, word down here all right so let's talk about this we got a list of words the for loop's going to run and go through each word. If the word starts with A, all right, with our starts with method here, it it will continue. So it's going to come to here and go back up here, and it's not going to print the word. All right. If the word starts with anything other than an A, and this if statement's false, it's going to go to the next line of code and it's going to print the word. All right. Understandable, right? So let's go ahead and run that one. As you can see, we have dog, cat, bear. And in our other one, we had apple, ape, and arm, and it didn't print them. Cool, we wrote a program that can actually figure out if the word starts with something and doesn't print them. But guess what? I'm not too fond of the continue. So let's write this properly. All right, so we got our four word and words. Let's uh, change this to, I'm just gonna take out this if statement we'll do if word all right and we're going to get its index position if word so for example apple all right so this is apple and the f zero index position which is the first letter in the string is a it's going to do something and in this case is not equal to the letter a all right so if word apple doesn't start with a um, is true or yeah this would be false with apple be false so it wouldn't run this if statement if it was true then it would uh, run the if statement for dog alright so it goes to the dog the first letter in dog is D so it, this uh, if statement would be true we need to do something so we're gonna do print and we're gonna do word alright now, let's go ahead and run our program. Boom, same thing. Dog, cat, bear. All right. So that is the continue statement in Python. Um, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. I know it's kind of confusing. Um, and sometimes working with it, practicing with it will, you know, take you a long way. But, you know, it's not something you want to constantly use in Python. And I suggest that you only use it when there's no other option. And guess what?
I can't think when think of one when there wouldn't be an option. So that's why I went took the time to show you guys how to really write it out properly so we don't have to use that continue statement and make our code ugly. If you have any questions, leave a comment on YouTube or on our website, learnpythontutorial.com. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to share it. Don't forget to uh, leave us a comment. And don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next tutorial.